Now, you might be looking at me thinking, Lydia, why have you got a woolly hat on inside? And also you might be thinking, wow, that is quite some uplight that you've got going on. Well, for the first time <laughs> since the year that we moved in here and the year that we got married, this is what is in front of me right now. And I honestly, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Look at this. It is absolutely magical. The bunnies have been out, the pheasants have been out. I've missed them all, but at least I'm not missing the snow. Oh, it's just amazing. So this is my first time driving this car in the snow. But last time it snowed and like settled like this. This is what my road looks like at the moment. Look at this. Wow. So pretty. Yes, so this is my first time driving this car in the snow. And last time it snowed, I had my Evoke and Evokes are not four wheel drive. <laughs> so we were officially snowed in. I have to say, admittedly, it is nowhere near the kind of snowfall that we had the last time, like three years ago when we moved in, which is sad because I would have loved to have had that again, but it's still just as beautiful. Yeah, so it snowed on Sunday and we were just like, oh my gosh, this is just the dream. It's so exciting. And we had such a lovely weekend and I haven't really picked up my vlogging camera to tell you anything about that's been going on. At the moment, I am off to the shops. I need to pick up some bits, just some food bits. Look at the pheasants. They're so funny. Running in the snow. Oh my God, he slipped. Look at them. Hello, little men. Hello. Oh, look at you guys. I love you so much. <laughs> so weird telling a pheasant that you love them. <laughs> Oh, come on, little man. They run so fast, it's so funny. Now they're flying. Yeah, so I didn't actually vlog. And do you know what? I'm actually, it's really quite nice. It, it gets quite hectic before Christmas when we're doing vlogging every day because you don't get any like sort of respite or like distance. And so it is quite nice to have some like time for myself. But yeah, so I'm going to the shops now and I think I'm also gonna pick up a load of coffees because I fancy going to the drive through So I'm gonna do that as well. Oh my gosh, it just looks like winter wonderland down here. It is so beautiful. I tell you what, nothing inspires me more than the weather and I, I'm gutted that it didn't snow like properly around Christmas. I know some people got it like the other day before or the day after. I have to be so careful because our road doesn't get gritted. But yeah, so I had um, the weekend off, which was lovely. However, I think I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs that I've been enjoying champagne recently. The only thing with champagne is it doesn't really enjoy me that much. So um, this weekend, even though I said that on Fridays I like to like have a drink or whatever, um, I'm not doing that this week. I'm hoping that this weekend I'm gonna have like a bit of a detox and I want to turn my house into like a spa does that make sense obviously it's not gonna be like anything like a spa but one of the things I really love to do is to do like a spa break it's one of my favorite things and so what I want to do is like stay at home obviously because that's what we're all doing but stay at home and do yoga and I think I'm gonna order some juices from Plenish I'm not gonna do like a juice thingy but I'm gonna do it with like really really healthy food like cook the most healthiest food that I know how to cook which is not a lot and just drink some yummy juices do lots of like chilled enjoyable ooh, meditation and journaling i mean if there's ever a time that i can kind of do this and not feel guilty for it it's now so i'm gonna do that i think as well and yeah obviously a lot's happened over the last uh, week or so and um i don't really know what to say about it if you follow me on instagram you'll kind of know but it's just not something like it's it's such a, a sad time for everyone that it's not something that i want to like bring onto youtube as well and so yeah anyway i am doing everything to keep myself positive and just looking after myself basically my village is so beautiful wow wow honestly so beautiful and it's actually really nice as well because i'm actually smack bang in the middle of two villages 
and so I can actually claim two of the villages. <laughs> I'm like, actually, this is my village too. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna head to the shops, I'm gonna get some coffees, and then I'm gonna head home and see what the day has planned for us, basically, because at the moment, I don't know what's planned. I have had to stop and show you how beautiful this is. This is where I run. You know when I show you in spring and summer and it's all green and there's birds and lots of animals. This is the same part of our road as that. But this is it in winter and when it snowed and it looks so lovely. Look at the trees. Looks like something out of Narnia. I love it. Oh, I love snow. We are back home and the fire is already lit. This is a little bit of the snow that's left. It's about three days now since it snowed and it's all just kind of a bit icy. It's definitely not as thick and fluffy as it was, but got the little pidgeys over there. We had lots of lovely pheasants and it just looks so magical. It makes everything so bright. I've actually lit the fire for Lumi because she is under the sofa and she just loves the warmth. So I'm gonna pop her blanket down in front of the fire for her so that she can snuggle. I think it's gonna be one of those kind of like cozy, cozy days where I'm productive. I've got a lot to do. I've got some bits to do on my laptop. I've also got some bits to show you. So I'm going to get her set up and then I'm gonna get myself set up. Come on, Lamy. She loves it under here because it's like a little hot pocket. You can see her little bottom there. <laughs> I've come upstairs. I've decided that today feels like the perfect day to have a little bit of a clear out in my wardrobe. Things to go on Depop and things like that. By the way, I don't handle my Depop, so I know people sometimes get confused, but it's not me on my Depop. All listings are done by one of the members of the team. And yes, you're not talking to me. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna give my wardrobe's a little bit of a clear out. Things either go to charity, they're either sold on Depop or they are given to friends and family. That's how it works. Nothing goes in the bin because I've got a number of like fashion deliveries that are coming in that are quite big. And so I think it's time for a good old fashioned clear out. I always find them really cleansing as well. So I am going to do that with you. But first of all, First of all, I've got a package to get into with you. So I thought that considering we're gonna be having a sort of one in one out situation, I'd get the package open and show you. This is my outfit today, by the way. I'm wearing my jumper dress from Nasty Gal. I've got this in the cream and I've also got it in the black as well. I actually find the cream is a better length on me. The black is quite long, it's a bit more oversized. I wore this throughout the whole of Vlogmas pretty much because it's really heavy duty, it washes really well and it's nice and simple. I would love for them to do this in a cable knit version. And then I always kind of team it with a snazzy belt or a cardigan or something like that over the top. I also always pretty much wear tights because it's warm, but this has basically been like my outfit of winter because they just make such great work outfits and I always feel so comfortable. I know I've said this a million times in all of my videos, but my jumper dress collection has been exceptional recently. So anyway, I don't know whether I'm gonna do accessories as well. Should we have a wardrobe clear out of accessories? Cause I'm planning on doing an updated bag collection. Hmm. Perhaps we'll just see how we get on with the clothes and then I might do an updated bag collection another day. Yeah, 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 okay, cool. I'm gonna pop you up here, I think, you get a nice, oh, actually, this also gives me the perfect opportunity to update you on my dressing room, because I know that you'll all be wondering what kind of happened with my dressing room. I've got to be honest, it didn't go well. I'm gonna say it that way. <laughs> and then I'm also just gonna be honest in the sense that when it came down to it and I was given the opportunity to put right some of the things that I'd wanted to change in the room, I realized that actually there's a lot that I would like to change in this room. And rather than try and sort of itty bitty piece it together, I am gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave my dressing room as it is for now. And then I think, you know, however many years from now, if I ever need to do it again or something like that, then we'll sort of cross that bridge 
then. I'll either, you know, put it right and sort of start again. I don't think I would change too much, but I just think when we got into it, because obviously my wardrobes were the wrong color, I would end up wanting to sort of take out all of these, these units and refit them. And I've got to be honest, if I'm gonna be refitting things, I'm gonna want the inside of my wardrobes to be the color that I want as well, because this orangey wood is not the one. So yeah, and I would have wanted obviously the lights and things, and I thought, I realized that I would have done so much more differently. I think I wouldn't have so much on display. I always find the display side of things really difficult though, because I love it. I love being able to walk in and see all my shoes but I organize my shelves in a certain way. And when we clean or the cleaners come, they never put it back the way that I put my stuff back. <laughs> and so it ends up looking a mess. And it's such a practical versus visual thing that I'm not quite sure on. I don't know whether you would put like glass doors on so that they didn't need dusting so much, who knows? But yeah, so I would probably want to refit. The other thing as well that I think that I would do differently is I wouldn't have the wraparound situation that I have because I would really love to have like a bit of a seating area as well, somewhere that I can come and sit down and lounge and actually have like a sofa in here. Because I come up here so much and I sit there and this, this isn't really a sofa. I've also replaced this one by the way because Lumi was sadly unwell on this when she was, uh, when she had pancreatitis. But yeah, so I've got a slightly smaller one here now. I would have lost some space, I admit that, but I would have loved to have had like a, a sort of sofa in this corner pushed right into the eaves so that I can sit down and either read up here or do some work and just make it a little bit cozier as well. I probably would have kept this situation because I think that the symmetry of this makes me very, very happy. I love how this room is pretty much symmetrical, except for the bad measurements that were done over there. So I think that was where we kind of got to with it in the sense that it didn't go well. And I also realized that even just down to like the inserts of these drawers. I wanted to have these done like and built bespoke, but the fact that this was never the right wood, like I always wanted it to be really nice and light in here, but it's not. And so I would have just been making do with something that I didn't want. And I'd rather five, 10 years down the line, if I want to do it all again, I would do it so differently. I would have a carpenter like Andy come in and I would have it all done in solid oak and that's how I would do it. I wouldn't have it, prob I probably wouldn't have it painted either. I'd have the walls painted, but I'd have the bare wood and I'd leave it at that because it'd be so nice and warm and cozy. So yeah, I've been meaning to update you on that and I get so many questions. I'm like, yeah, I need to put that into a video because I did the whole video like <gasps> my dressing room renovation. But I think later down the line, I'll probably just take matters into my own hands, work with someone that I know like their, their work and their work ethic so that I can, I'm confident and I can design it now to fit my needs. Cause this fitted my needs when I did it three years ago. Now we can sort of move forward from it and take learnings. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get my bag of stuff and the rail. So I have a few different videos coming up and I like how it's coming out because it means that every single fashion video that I'm doing hits a different price point in terms of the pieces that I'm featuring. And I do do that, so I, I like to feature different price points, but you're never gonna come to my channel and get the same price point all the time. And so this one is very, very much a high street one. I love finding high street items like this that work really, really well. And I wear loads, like I've not taken this off. So I went on to Nasty Gal and searched for some more. I am working with Nasty Gal on this video, but everything will be linked in the description box down below. So let's get into the bags. This has been sat in my hallway and I've been very, very excited about it. I'll try and do like little cutaways as well outside. Ooh, I see cream wonders. Ooh, that looks nice and snuggly. It's not a jumper dress, although it is quite long. If you remember, I opened up the cordings order and I liked the green one. This has slightly like a tighter waistband to it. So it means it will stay up and not be um, open. So I thought that was really nice. I just love, I love cream knitwear. 
especially now that I've got the um, cardigan as well, the scene on her cardigan. I love layering cream knitwear together. This is the cream jumper and I've just sent Carrie a picture of the black one and she um, has instantly gone online to order it because I knew that she liked it. It's got such a great sturdy roll neck. I love it and then I've cinched it in at the waist with some leggings. This is another super easy lockdown outfit. I think this is great. Not everyone likes these leggings by the way but I really like them. I do want to get a warmer um, sort of creamy colour as well. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with this. So this is the cream jumper and I've styled it with a skirt that is also from this haul. You'll see it in a little bit, but yeah, I love this sort of outfit because it's still really cute and feminine, but I love the way the boots kind of like casual it up a little bit, but make it quite edgy. I love the idea of this jumper being like more of a drop waist as well and giving the skirt. It's not got much prominence in the outfit. The jumper kind of takes over and it just looks really nice and smart, but casual. I always find that cream and black together looks really lovely. It always looks very kind of Chanel-esque which I love. The fact that this jumper has the like elasticated waistband is really handy as well. And then I've just teamed it with a crossbody Chanel and these Hermes boots, but I am very, very happy. And this will also look good with the black jumper as well. So yeah, I actually really, really love this outfit together. So I'll link them via outfit in the description box down below. I'm kind of on the hunt at the moment for something for Valentine's Day as well, to, to wear for Valentine's Day. Like, obviously this is going to be a lockdown Valentine's Day, but Ali and I intend to make it just as special as any other Valentine's Day. So I wanna wear something nice, but comfortable, of course. On Nasty Girl right now, you can shop their Valentine's Day items. They've all launched on site, so you can go and have a look now. And I've also got a code that gets you, I think an extra 60% off, which is Lydia60. And that is valid from the 28th to the 31st. I'll pop all of the details in the description box down below. But basically, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to find something um, comfortable, but lovely to wear for Valentine's Day. So this is the black version of this jumper as well. I've got a black cardigan as well, so I love layering those two up as well. It's super soft and very easy to wear, and it's a good length if you're wearing a lot of leggings as well in lockdown, and it's soft. And this is the black version of the jumper. Again, such a basic, but so, so useful. I've styled it up the same as I did the other, but with a green skirt as well. This is also from the haul, so I'll tell you about that in a little bit. And with some Chanel and Hermes accessories, just to like elevate it. I always say that a Chanel brooch makes even like the most affordable of jumpers look super high end. So I always think this is one of the best things that you can invest in just to pop it on a little jumper like this. It is so cute, but you can also style this differently. Um, I love the length of these jumpers so it means that if you were to pop these over leggings and then add a waist belt it would totally change this. In fact let's try it. And this is the jumper styled up with some leather leggings and leather boots and the leather belt. So I think this jumper was I think it's under £25 styled up with some like really well thought out accessories. It just completely looks seamless with the outfit and I love this all black outfit with different textures. So you can style it up with a skirt or you can style it up over the top of leggings like this. This is such a chic way to get away with wearing leggings and a jumper. It looks even good with just normal like matte leggings as well without them being leather. Just a really lovely easy to wear outfit. Softy softy. Now this item I was very excited about because I don't know if anyone will remember this, I hope you do. <laughs> wow, cute, good length. When I first started blogging, there was this like coveted leather pleated skirt that was just the like pinnacle of everyone's wardrobe and I managed to get my hands on one and I don't have it anymore. And actually it's really timeless and I'm annoyed that I don't have it anymore. And so I saw these and I love a waistband that is elasticated. And these are faux leather skirts. This one is like a sort of a khaki green color, but I also got it in the black. This with a really cute roll neck over the top with boots is so good with tights as well and really, really timeless at this time of year. And I love a little sort of like, um, is it like an A-line skirt? I don't know, but it gives it, so it's, it's more of like a full skirt, I think. But yeah, I loved that. So, I, and I was like, oh my God, it reminds me of early blogging days. Oh, I miss those days so much. This is the khaki skirt as well, which I have also in black. And again, elasticated waist, so it's super comfortable. I've styled it up with black accessories. And 
I feel like the, the green skirt gives an all black outfit a different dimension without making it look like too colorful. So I like this. Oh, where's my bag? <laughs> I like this very, very much. Such a cute and easy way to style up a skirt and jumper. And I always get really lovely floral prints from Nasty Gal, especially in their dresses. And I love wearing them around the house because again, I just add like a elasticated waist belt or something like that. And it is really, really comfortable. Although I have to say, these belts from Hermes are so perfect for wearing with dresses like this and they're so comfortable, so comfortable. I haven't needed to use my little elastic number once because these just, they're amazing and they're so good because they come in one size and they are adjustable. So it's not like if I was to put on weight, I'd need to go and buy a new belt. It, it's adjustable. I love it. Um, so yeah, this dress with like these belts will look really lovely as well. And this actually would be a really nice option for Valentine's Day, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this dress is brilliant if you missed out on the more green toned, really sort of delicate floral print that I got in the dress from H&M before Christmas, because that went so quickly and I know that so many of you loved it. This has got the same kind of vibe, but it's brown with more of a deep, sort of maroony pink and then a light pink. So it's really nice and feminine. Um, I've dressed it up with a belt that is so comfortable. It doesn't feel like restricted or anything. And also some Louboutin boots just to give it a little bit of elevation, but this could go with flat boots as well. Obviously I'm not leaving my house, so I don't have to wear boots around my house, but this is a really good option for my Valentine's Day outfit because it's comfortable and it looks nice as well. So I'm really, really happy with this. Such a good length as well. What is this one? I bought a lot of black dresses as well. This one is so cute, really lovely. Great length as well. Um, a little bit of detailing and ruffles, easy to, to cinch in and easy to wear over a full black outfit. I love a high neck dress as well. I just find that they always look so much more flattering on me. So I love this. A little bit of a balloon sleeve as well. So this could be nice for Valentine's Day. This is the black dress on, and this is just such a play it safe number, but I love the way these frills instantly like lift the shoulders so they look a little bit more structured and have a little bit more sort of like power to them. I love a little bit of a power shoulder. It's also slightly longer, which means that if you prefer a longer fit, then you'll probably feel a little bit more comfortable in this as well, because it just stops above the knee. I've gone for an all black outfit because I, I do love an all black outfit. I always feel very put together. Um, I remember actually why I like all black outfits and you're gonna laugh. But when I was younger and I used to go and get my hair done at places like Tony and Guy and the girls would be in like all black outfits and it would be like their style, but it was all in black. And I just remember thinking, wow, like look at those grown ups. <laughs> They're so cool and they look so cool. And I, I've just loved all black outfits ever since then. And I even did my work experience at a Tony and Guy salon. Um, and so I actually got to wear an all black outfit and felt very, very cool as well. But yeah, that's such a random story there, Lydia. This is the black dress. And again, I styled up with my usual accessories, which I do like high-end accessories, but you don't have to style things up if, if that's not your style. Um, in that way, I just personally love styling up something that's slightly more affordable with the right accessories to make it look more expensive. And I love this as well. I just want to be comfortable. Is that a crime? <laughs> oh, they have such good, good khaki stuff on there. This jumper is brilliant. I was so happy when I saw this. This was more of like a sort of cropped khaki jumper, which would be so good for like tucking into high waisted things. It's got a little roll neck, but not too big. So it will sit nicely where I prefer my roll necks to sit. Nice weight of the, the fabric as well. Like obviously this is not a luxurious fabric. It's an easy, practical, I don't have to worry kind of fabric, but it's nice and soft as well. So for me, that's important because I just want to be cozy and comfortable, but still look nice. That is, I feel like one day I'm gonna have to have that printed on a t-shirt or something because, or even tattooed, who knows. Little bit of a different outfit. Um, this is the khaki knitwear piece underneath a shuffle gilet. This is pretty much how I intend to kind of wear it because it's really, really nice fitted, but it's not too bulky so that you get the pleats like in the fabric. That's the one thing I find about gilets. If a jumper is too bulky, you get these like, this kind of like bunching up. So when I saw this, I thought it'd be really, really nice underneath 
these like this this is a proper casual outfit that i would wear when i am at home going in between the garden and the house probably doing some work but also still want to look presentable if i needed to go to the shops or something this is my outfit for practicality um so that's that jumper very much in my color palette I loved the colours of this dress. This is like a brown dress, but with blue flowers on it. Let me see if I can show you, see if it comes across. But I loved the contrast in the colour and the brown tone to it. And also it just looks so expensive. I think this is the dress. Really beautiful length, nice and ruched in the middle, big puff sleeves and a high neck. I think this is my Valentine's Day dress. So pretty, try that one on with you. Ding, 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 we have a winner. It is even more amazing on than I imagined. It's giving me kind of like rotate dress vibes, if you know that brand. I bought a dress from them a while ago, but they always have this. I think it's kind of like a 70s-ish vibe, I'm not sure, but it really is giving me those vibes. And maybe a little bit of Alessandra Riche as well. I love I love an outfit that's inspired by a good designer like that. But yes, this is gorgeous. It is quite short, but oh, you know it's a good one when I've got the Alexander McQueen belt to cinch it in. I love the shoulders on this. I think it's so elegant. This is the kind of thing that I would also wear when we're allowed out to go for drinks with friends. I would feel so comfortable with like my petite mal clutch and my Alexander McQueen belt, some comfy boots. This is, oh. This is like my dream outfit. I'm so happy with these dresses. It is unbelievable. And even though this is like a, a chocolate brown color, it doesn't look out of place. And even with the blue paisley kind of print, oh, it's so nice. Look at that. It gives good waist, okay? This dress gives good waist. <laughs> ah, so this is the black version of the pleated skirt. And this, styled up with my Hermes boots, nice jumper, thick tights, even with like my um, Le Boutin boots as well, if I wanted something slightly more dressy, it's gonna be comfortable because it's got an elasticated waistband, so it's not gonna be too tight. Really happy that I got my hands on these. I'm gonna give everything a little bit of a steam and try it on with you as well. Obviously, I've already shown you this outfit, but I've um, styled up the leather skirt with the cream jumper from earlier, and I just love the way that it looks. You can also obviously go more high-waisted like that to give it a different feel. The fact that the, the waist is elasticated means that you've got kind of like versatility with the jumper. You could go for something a little bit more like in the middle like that, but this is a great, comfortable, at-home outfit. I love this. I would actually wear this for the rest of the day. It makes me very happy. And then this one I could not say no to because this is like my cozy loungewear of choice. The sweatshirts, and I said this before, it was Carrie that got me onto these sweatshirts. The sweatshirts on Nasty Out are the best because they have that really like soft fleecy lining. So if you are a cozy hunter like I am, they are perfect. And the colours of this I loved to go with my Hermes bag. So if I'm wearing like a really chilled relaxed outfit, just leggings and a sweatshirt and maybe a nice coat over the top. This tone is just all me. I love it so much. And so when I saw it in this, because it does come in white as well, I'll link both down below. And I'll link some of their other sweatshirts as well that I love because these are just beautiful and so practical. I'll wear this in summer as well because when we go on walks and things like that, it's a good one. And this of course is like the ultimate CBA kind of outfit. It's just a sweatshirt, leggings, and a vest top underneath, but then I've got good accessories on. This is how I imagine that one day I will do the school run. You know, the mums that pull up in the Range Rovers with the Birkin bags, but they're like, oh, I just threw on a sweatshirt. That's gonna be me. That's the kind of school run mum I'm gonna be. <laughs> and I'll still have a full face of makeup as well. <laughs> but yeah, this is obviously just one of those ones that you just throw on and it just kind of works, doesn't it? But it's comfortable and it's warm. And I think I might stay like this for the rest of the day. So yeah, remember that I have the 60% off code, which is Lydia60. It'll all be in the description box if you want to shop anything. Anything that I featured. I think that this is probably one of my most favorite hauls I've ever done from Nasty Gal, and I love every single piece. They fit so nicely, and I think all of them you can see how they're completely my style. Anyway, I am now gonna get on with having a bit of a clear out, a bit of a reorganize and a tidy up in here, so. 
let's get on with the business. Hello, little sausage. You've been a very good boy, haven't you? <laughs> little wacky tail, straight under my legs. <laughs> You've been a good boy. You've been a good boy. Good boy. First things first, I need to tackle the beauty cupboard. I literally haven't been seeing anything that's been coming in, so I need to go through all of this stuff and sort through items that can go to women's shelters and things, anything that the girls downstairs might like. So I'm gonna go through these now. I'll speed this up, I think, but if I find anything that I wanna tell you about, we'll have a little chat. <laughs> Ooh, Nard lipsticks. I haven't even seen those. I need to try those out. Ooh, retouch. How good does this look? It's like a, um, oh my gosh, this might work so well for my red bits. <gasps> I'm gonna try this out. So this is the L'Oreal Magic Retouch Precision. That's such a hard word to say. It says instant gray concealer brush. We're trying this out. Once we've sorted this out, we're trying this out. Oh my goodness. Oh, cordially, vine body butter, lovely. Ooh, I've got the Vive um, eyeshadow palette from Jamie Genevieve's brand. This is a me palette. Oh, I need to have a play around with that. Tom Ford Solinage. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Not often I find perfumes that I like. Ooh. I have to try this lip liner from Vive as well. Oh. Cleansing mousse from Decli. Oh, oh my god. Right, so we have sorted out the beauty cupboard for the most part. It's taken me so long though, so I've still got stuff to put away. Some bits go down to the gym from Shreddy and also some new vitamins and stuff. So I'm gonna have to tackle the actual wardrobes tomorrow because my husband has sorted out a lovely little picky dinner for us this evening. So we're gonna snuggle in front of the fire with the seal pups and take it easy. I am also back wearing my splint on my hand as advised by my physio because obviously doing things at the moment is not easy and um i don't want to make my wrist worse it's what's it called corbital tunnel or something like that, that i've got something weird like that i've also got i don't know whether it's the same thing but an impingement in my wrist or something hello sausage pie oh almost dropped my camera then hello i nearly dropped my camera with your cuteness Look at you, look how excited you get. You gonna show me your belly? You gonna show me your belly? Oh, you are soft, such a soft little boy. You're gonna have the zoomies soon though, aren't you? You okay, my boy? Lovely belly. Oh, you just sort of hang out at the edge of your bed, don't you? I can't talk today, I'm too tired. Good boy, good boy, good boy. As usual, this one working late in his office. Yeah, Ali is doing his B course at the moment. Very it's lovely, intense. very intense. And then this is what he's set up for this evening. We've got some wine and we've got some cheese and some picky bits and some bread and the fire is roaring. He's also lit some of my favorite candles. It smells incredible in here and it is so warm. Lummy, I'm surprised you're not in front of the fire. She's under the chair. of me um we spent the evening not watching bridgerton we finished off our little living room picnic and then ali had his bee course his beekeeping course and by the way i'm so proud of you for sticking at your beekeeping course mm. i think that's so cool that you've like really got into it and you devote so much time to it he literally spent the entire day on sunday reading about beekeeping and also did I already say thank you for warming up my car? And yeah. he even put on the heated steering wheel for me this morning. That did not go unnoticed. 
yeah, he put, put the whole shebang on. He warmed up the car. Do you know what we really need to do is we need to link the Range Rover to our phones because then you can warm it up from your phone. You don't even need to go out there. Yeah. Need to do that. But yes, yeah, so Ali was doing his beekeeping course and I did a puppy Facebook Live with my puppy trainers. Spent the rest of the evening doing a little bit of training with Porter. He is now out for the count next to me in his little bed. Lummy is in between my legs, purring away. She's been having um, a little bit of a brush. But yeah, so we've made Porter's area in the living room a little bit smaller because as much as it was so adorable to watch him run in and charge around in the living room we want this area to be an area where he comes to settle because this is a bit more of like a, a quiet space and it's Lumi's quiet space it's our quiet space so we've just made his area a little bit smaller and it means that he's settling all right he's had a good evening and a good day but tomorrow is a very exciting day. I actually haven't told you yet. I have a delivery because I got my first ever wish list iced item from Hermes and I have a new sales associate there and it's all just very, very exciting. So I got my first wish list item and it's being delivered tomorrow. Feels a little bit surreal at this very moment in time, but I'm excited. I'm not going to open it with you in this video though, so don't get your hopes up. And it's Porter's first walk. So two really lovely positive things happening tomorrow. And I've already said to Ali that we're going to go on the walk together to make sure that we're going in, in daylight for him and just take him probably to the end of the road and back as far as he can go. And then I'll carry him back probably. But I'm really excited. So yeah, we're going to get these two pups into bed. Right, babe. Come on, let's get these pups good to bed. Good morning, little man. Are you going to tell the world what a good boy you were? <laughs> you can't resist the camera, can you? You can't resist it. Are you going to tell the world what a good boy you were? Very excited today. So somebody did a lot of training last night and was out for the count, not even a whimper. Then slept through the night, held his bladder, went out this morning for the biggest wee wee I think I've ever seen in my life, and a very big poo. And he's eating all his breakfast. Very, very good boy. Good boy. I also wanted to show you this. It arrived yesterday from a brand called Ribbon England, and this is a gorgeous leather collar. And then, to be honest, I always said I wouldn't ever put my dog in a bow tie, but these are so chic. It looks like it's something that you would like wear with a, like one of those smoking jackets, <laughs> a little velvet green bow tie, and it's got his initial on it. And I thought this was so sweet, and you just thread it onto the leather collar. But I think this might be a little bit too hard for him at the moment because he's still a little puppy. So we're gonna put his collar on for the first time today. Well, his collar and his harness. And um, we're gonna take him for a little walk. You enjoying your bone? Good boy. I have just finished up filming my handbag collection video and I think my Hermes wish has just arrived. Oh my goodness, I need to go down and meet the guy. <gasps> okay, I have just finished up filming my handbag collection video, which I believe will be going out next and what are we crying about? You want someone to play with you? I need to get changed because we need to take you for your walk, don't we? It's your first walk time. <gasps> so exciting. So my bag has been delivered. It definitely wasn't with an armed guard, <laughs> but it's, um, it's here and I'm gonna be opening this in a separate video with you, my love. I know you want to see it, but you can't see it just yet. I've had such a busy morning. I've been filming and doing reels and things like that all morning. And I'm wearing the Nasty Girl dress from yesterday and I love it. I know I'm supposed to be saving this for Valentine's Day, but sadly, I love it too much to not wear it. It fits the absolute dream. It really does. So I'm now gonna go get changed out of it because I've finished filming and I am going to put something more practical on because this little thumper dump, we're going outside and I really feel like he's made peace with the outside world now because earlier, usually if we open the door, he comes running back inside, but he just wanted to stay outside and play. So I think it is time for you to have your first little walkie walk, isn't it? These two are working away as the sun sets. Aren't you my little lummy? Doing the whole big meow. 
Big meow. Big meow. Look at you in your brown cable knit jumper. All set to go on your first adventure. He's got a uh, Hudson and something harness on, which finally fits him. And then his jumper is literally from Amazon because we're still waiting for his fleeces because they got to be specially made for you, haven't they? Come on then, let's go. Let's get your poo bags and let's go. I can only imagine that this is something like leaving the house with kids. I've been rushing around, trying to find his lead, getting him dressed, getting his harness on. Maybe you don't have your kids in a harness, but anyway, it's been... Pretty sure when I was a toddler, I used to have a lead on me. Yeah. <laughs> Little runaway child. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tame a bit. Come on, come on. Good boy, good boy. You're doing so well. You're doing so well. <laughs> You and your mummy are dressed the same. I just realised we've got the same coat, the same colours on. The blue and the green. Matchy matchy. I know. That wasn't even intentional. It's the only one that fits him. <laughs> he just likes to follow, doesn't he? At the yeah, minute. he's very good. Well, you wait until he builds his confidence yeah. and then we'll ask you that question again. Yeah, you're probably right. You keep on scaring the pigeons. Yeah, you ferocious beast. <laughs> that is a gorgeous belly. Look at that. Oh, the two of you just lounging on the floor. Little cutie, look at that belly. Well, the, mon the monstrosity, monstro monstrosity that was my beauty cupboard took up all of the time yesterday so that I didn't manage to actually have um, a clear out of my actual wardrobe, which was a little bit annoying. However, I am too tired now to go and do it. So I think I'm gonna have to do it in another video when I've got a little bit more time. We just had dinner and we're getting ready to settle down in the living room, but Porter's got lots of energy after his walk. So I don't know whether he should have gone for longer or, or what, but I'm gonna do a little bit of training with him now to wear him out. At the moment we're working on teaching him how to drop and respond when we obviously say drop. So that is what I'm gonna focus on this evening. Porter, ready? Uh -uh. Sit, good boy. Go again. Right in your piss pad. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. No. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Excuse me, I've got a kibble for you, so unless you're gonna bring that here. You ready? I'm gonna try it again. Bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> So just to finish things off, I'm going to get into this, which arrived. I've actually had two deliveries from Dior today. This one looks like Maison Christian Dior, which is one of my faves. So I thought we could get into this together because it is a very, very beautiful brand. Oh, I saw the girls do ads for this. This is, oh, these boxes. Oh my goodness. Look at these. So, Maison Christian Dior is our declaration of love to perfume, an invitation to share a complete lifestyle for all those who want to beautify and perfume the spaces and moments of their lives. Today, three icons get a fun make makeover in this Toile de Jouy by Dior. The Fresh Lucky, Grieve Dior, the famous modern, I can't say that word, and the noble Woody, Ud, can't say that word either, in red, green, and blue. <laughs> Sublime collection of animals stalks across the usually white covers of the Maison Christian Dior fragrances. Colors shimmer and pop while refined illustrations charm and intrigue the eye. I will link where these are available down below, but I'm not gonna open them with you because they are far too beautiful. There's three different ones, all in different packaging, all very lovely, so very, very, very special. And this will look very nice in my uh, dressing room as well. 
So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this vlog here. And just a reminder, because I put the code wrong for my haul earlier, it's not actually Lydia M, no, it's not Lydia 60, it's Lydia M60. So if you miss the notification on the screen, it is on screen, I constantly get codes wrong and things like that. I'm just literally, my, my brain does not work. Okay, it doesn't work. But um, I'll pop it in the description box as well. So if you did want to make use of it then you can and i shall see you in my next vlog thank you so much for watching everything will be linked down below and i'm going to sit down and watch a couple of episodes of bridgerton which is good it's like a cross between 50 shades of gray a very dramatic downton and gossip girl and it's all right the soundtrack to it's amazing it's okay but i'm actually really excited to start pride and prejudice i think because people voted on my instagram and um that was what they voted for so i'm going to see you in my next video so thank you so much for watching bye 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 bye, bye.